Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be talking about the bait chaser syndrome. I know probably some of you watching this have the syndrome or you know somebody that has this syndrome. Um, like I had a friend and every time I went out and used a lure and caught fish on it that he didn't have, anyway I gave him some and he might not have caught them on it that day. The next day we went out, he had that lure in every color and every size. And then if that day I was fishing something different, and I would usually give him one to use, and even if he didn't catch fish or only one or two on it, again, the next time we went out, he had that lure in every size and color. And he hadn't even fished the other lure he just bought two weeks ago in every size and every color. But I could see how, through the marketing and, and through uh, commercials and stuff, how a lot of, especially uh, new to bass fishing or maybe people that have been struggling at bass fishing might fall for some of this marketing. Because I was going through one of these, these bass in magazines and this one happens to have the uh, 50 best new lures for 2010. And right in the middle of it is uh, this little article or what appears to be an article. But if you look at it, you notice there's, there's no author. There's first-hand accounts of people seeing it catch so many fish, uh, but no names. Uh, there's quotes with no names attached. And that's because it's a very cleverly written ad. It's a marketing thing. And look at the title. New lures catch rate may be too high for some tournaments. Are you kidding me? It looks so real it's going to be banned. How many pros design for top name companies every year and design things that look more natural and more real? I mean, give me a prick. And then it goes on, in bold, of course, the, the highlight caption underneath that. Outfishes other baits, 19 to 4 in one contest. Contest? I'm sorry, I didn't know we had bass contests. I thought we had tournaments. But anyway, how many tournaments go on on a given weekend in the U.S.? Hundreds and hundreds, but oh, look. 19 to 4 in one tournament. And then underneath that, the other catch thing uses aerospace technology to mimic a real fish. And that is a little known principle called aeronautic flutter that makes the segments wiggle and make it look like it's pushing itself along by the tail, which real fish do. Well, I'm sorry, it's a principle. Any, any jointed segmented bait without a lip uses the same principle to make the back end move to make it look like it's pushing itself by the tail. So everything has that, so no big deal. Then underneath that, they have a quote that says, Marine biologists will tell you that the more a lure swims like a real fish, the more fish you will catch. Why are they talking to a marine biologist? I mean, why don't they talk to a fisheries biologist? Somebody that focuses on freshwater. Hey, that's what I do. Eh, I'm sorry. Spinnerbaits, jigs, creature baits, none of those really swim or look like something natural in the water. Yet they catch a hell of a lot of fish. And then it goes on to say that we've seen fish that have already eaten eat this lure. It's almost like having another potato chip. I mean, come on. How many of us have caught fish with something sticking out of their throat, either another fish or a crawdad, and they can't even swallow the bait we caught them on? So, I mean, eh, again, but fish eat five, six things at the same time. It's not like they eat one and then stop. So I'm just saying don't fall for this stuff. Uh, don't be a bait chaser. Uh, I mean, you don't need something designed with aeronautical flutter to catch yourself bass. The best way to catch bass is technique and presentation. No matter what lure you're using, learn the technique that's best for it and learn how to present it the best, and you'll probably catch a lot more fish. But most of all, learning where the bass are during different seasons and where they are during different situations in those different seasons. That's how you're going to catch yourself more fish not being a bait chaser. I hope this helps. Until next time. Let's go back in the hole. Let's go back in the hole, little fella. <laughs> Attitude gopher! Attitude gopher! What, do you come from Caddyshack? Are you a Caddyshack gopher? Oh, yeah, that was a good bite.